Hello and welcome to In Focus. My name is Jim Blasquist and on this week's episode of Inside BU, we take you through the long and rich history of the library. Check it out. In 1956, when the College Commons was being constructed to serve as the new dining hall on campus, plans emerged about what would become of the old dining space that was in Waller Hall. The library, which had been on the second floor of Waller Hall for over 50 years, was going to be moved down on the first floor of Waller and doubling in size. This move made the library more accessible for the students as the university did need a larger library due to the small size than the previous one. The new library took the place of the old dining hall when the College Commons was built as the new dining hall. The library on the first floor of Waller served its purpose but by the time the 1960s came the university's enrollment was steadily increasing and so was the demand for a bigger library. So for the first time in the history of the university, there were plans to build a separate library building to house the university collections. In November of 1964, work began on the new library building. The university decided to build on the old athletic field. The plans were drawn up for the building to have a ground floor and two upper floors to house the collection. The new library building would house the children's library, a curriculum materials collection, an auditorium, listening rooms, and the offices for the staff. This library was state of the art and really was significant on campus because it was the first time the library was its own separate building. However, after only eight years the library was reaching full capacity and once again the university was in need of a new and bigger building to house its ever-growing collection. At the time, the university did not have the money to construct the library building, so efforts were made to maximize the space in the old library building, which serves as the Student Services Center today. The efforts continued for about 20 years, and in the late 1980s, the plans were drawn up for a new library building. The funding took years, but finally in 1995, the money was raised and the groundbreaking ceremony took place in spring of that year. Construction began in the summer of 1996 and the building was open to students by summer of 1998. One interesting artifact that uh, we do have, uh, do have here in the archives is the shovel that was used for that groundbreaking ceremony. A number of these ceremonies have been held over the years. This is the only shovel that has ever been saved and kept uh, in the archives. So a, uh, you once again another sort of unique artifact here of our history. The early designs for the library differ slightly from how it is today but the library has certainly undergone the most changes of any building on campus throughout its 122-year-old history on campus. Since 1892, the library has been assisting the education of Bloomsburg University students and will continue to do so in the future. <laughs>